Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. So, I love Thai food. We go to this place called Bangkok Gardens over in Hackensack. It's ugh, I've been going there for 20 years, one of my favorite restaurants. And they make the traditional Tom Kha Gai, which is a coconut chicken soup. They, uh, they don't put a lot in it. Other places I go, they load it down with vegetables and everything. This is just a broth and the chicken, and that's the way we love it. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a Tom Kha Gai. We're gonna do it how I like it. Not the recipes I see on uh, YouTube where uh, they, they load it down with, uh, with everything. This is gonna be real simple. I'm, I'm using a combination of recipes, and I'm basically gonna go according to taste. Now, some of these may be hard to find, and I will, I'll put alternatives in the description because it took me years to find this stuff. So we got here about a one inch, and we're gonna cut this into, into slices. This is galungal, it's a root. And um, they say in a pinch you can use ginger. I've used ginger in the past when I've made the, um, the alternate version with, you know, with substitutes. Um, and it's then it worked fine. These are kaffir lime leaves. And if you can, oh, they smell, they smell fantastic. They got a, they got a, a, this, this mellow lime smell to them. And actually with the kaffir lime, they use the leaves more than they use the actual limes. I've got a pound of chicken here. This is pounded out and then cut into, into pieces. I've got three stalks of lemongrass. All right, and, you, and we're going to take it off just around here where it starts to get woody, and we're going to use this. And um, it's all it's an all in how you uh, prepare that 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 um, that makes a big difference. Along with this, we got one can of coconut milk. We've got six cups of chicken broth. Let's get started. Okay, so what I got here is I got a soup pot. I'm going to do this off the heat and then just bring it up slow. I'm opening that can of coconut milk. I'm going to, I'm going to add that. I'm going to add six cups of chicken stock. I might add some water to this just to bring up the volume. Now I'm just going to put this on the stove. I'm going to put it on a low heat for now. Galungal. i got to rinse this. So I got this in my Asian market. The galungal and the kaffir lime leaves were actually uh, frozen. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to... I'm going to cut them about the size of a... the thickness of a coin. And let's see how many we get. I may actually put more than this in. This was about a one inch chunk. So, um, I'm actually going to put a little bit more. I'm going to put, uh, so, so this is what I got on this. I'm going to throw that right in my soup pot. My, my lime leaves, now, I really wish you could smell these. It's not enough, you don't use it like a bay leaf and you just put it in. You need to really bruise them to get, to get those, uh, those flavors, you know, and I wouldn't cut them. You know, you just tear them up, tear them up. And, and these need to be fished out when you eat them be, uh, because they're just very, they're almost like bay leaves in, in texture, so these are going in. This dish has got a very citrusy flavor, so depending on how uh, citrusy it gets while it cooks depends on whether or not I'll put more lime leaves in. I may even resort to putting some uh, fresh lime juice in there. Now we have our lemongrass. We want to just cut those ends off, and this stuff is really tough. All right, and we're going to I'm going to cut this off. This gets discarded. This, I'm going to take off one layer. And then I'm going to wash it. Okay. 
Uh, I want to cut a little bit more of that one off. Okay. So now, again, you want to This will get those juices going and as it cooks down, because this stuff is really tough. All right, leave them about an inch and a half. And we're going to put that in. That's pretty much it. So we don't we don't do much to the chicken other than season it with just a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. Quarter teaspoon. And now that goes in. So now I'm gonna add about two cups of water and that's it we're just gonna let this simmer until that chicken starts to fall apart okay so I ran into problems with my audio so what I'm doing here is I'm adding lime it, it, I added the juice of one whole lime uh, to increase that citrus flavor that um, that this soup is known for, um, taste it, and uh, you know I'd like it on the on on the citrusy side. So uh, that's why um, earlier on in the recipe I said to uh, increase the amount of lemongrass and increase the amount of uh, lime leaves. And um, I just put that in. Now I'm just going to stir it up and uh, I'm just going to let it cook down just a little bit more. Alright, I think it still has to go a little bit more. Okay, um, I'm going to call this done. So I want to want to try to uh, strain out as much of those uh, lime leaves and stuff because you really can't eat them. Okay, I forgot to mention you're also going to need cilantro, and the cilantro goes in basically as you serve it. You don't want to cook it down because you want it. You want that cilantro taste. You don't want it to turn that dark green when it cooks. And you get to eat it with this, the Asian spoon. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick taste. Not as good as the Bangkok Garden. I think um, I think it needs more lime leaves and more um, lemongrass. Ha! So. Next time, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put more lemongrass, more more lime leaves in. That's it. It's a simple soup. I, I love it. I you know, um, it tastes great. And uh, hope you try it. It's John Camp. I'm not so neat chef.